does anybody know the definition of bullshit? Oh, wait a second. Okay, Bodies, Bodies, Bodies is the definition of a bullshit 2022 movie. If you watch this movie a second time, knowing the twist ending, knowing the secrets that unfold in the conclusion of this movie, it just becomes that much more unnecessary, that much more pointless. And I rolled my eyes at the twist ending and I literally shouted out loud, what? Like, I could not believe this was the ending we were given. And this movie, it has a, it has a cool concept. Like, this movie could have been a great slasher movie. This movie could have been, like, even a great mystery movie. This could have been, this could have been, uh, this could have been the clue of slasher movies. Like, I would have loved to see that. But this movie tries to be all clever with its twist ending, and it just miserably fails. It falls on its head. And the characters. The characters in this movie are frustrating, annoying dickheads who, uh, who, who think using social media terms in their real life is, like, is a fun thing and a common thing to do. And all of their line delivery just is so forced in this movie because, you know, characters are saying like, Oh, you're gaslighting me! What the fuck? Who gives a shit? You are some of the worst characters I have ever given my money to to watch on screen. From the moment these characters appeared on screen and you realise these were the characters you were going to be spending 90 minutes with, you you just roll your eyes because most of this movie, they, they are just arguing with each other and they are just yelling about the most unnecessary things. And I understand that this is this is a tense situation that they're in. But really, like, there's a scene when, you know, there's, uh, there's, there's a scene when, like, they are just pointing out characters and it's just, it's the most long, it's the most long-ass sequence, I think, in the fucking movie. Like, it felt like 20 minutes. Like, it was probably shorter than that. But that's the type of characters that you get here. And it's just, it's so annoying when... And no one's likable, especially in a, in a situation like this. I thought you would have characters that you would want to kind of root for till the end, but when everybody, you know, starts getting, you know, killed off, you know, one by one, like, you, you don't care. You don't care to remember any of their names. You don't care to uh, remember any of their characteristics. Like, there is nothing memorable about these characters. Um, what else is there to say about this fucking movie? This movie's tensionless as well. Like, there was not a moment in this movie where I felt tension. Because you're, you're in one of the worst movies with the worst characters. Do you really expect to feel tension or sympathy? No. This movie, really every area of filmmaking, this film falls on its head in. And I'm sorry to say that, because this was a movie that, you know, when I saw the trailer, I was like... I was like, you know, like, it, it does look like a great movie, but it looks like a fun movie. And it's not even fun. It's not even entertaining. Like, what the fuck, bodies, bodies, bodies. And this is an A24 movie. Like, I, I had high hopes for this because, you know, I loved X. I loved their last movie. And so, yeah, to see them kind of go back. Like, I'm not a big, you know, A24 fan. But I really enjoyed X. I'm very excited for Pearl. Um, but yeah, I, would, I, would, I was hoping you know, A24 would have finally found their direction. But no. Um, yeah, which like yeah, which that was a disappointment. Um, yeah, really, this whole movie was just a disappointment. So 